Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this short presentation on Rules Files Examples for Corba Probe's Resynchronization Handling. This is a presentation on Rules File Examples and provides a practical example of what was learned previously. This practical example uses arrays, static variables, date time conversion, integer casting. The Nokia NetAct probe uses nv underscore alarm underscore id and nv underscore event underscore time. nv underscore alarm underscore id is a unique event identifier. nv underscore event underscore time is the event's current timestamp. These two tokens can be used to define an event in time. Although the example is for the Nokia NetAct probes tokens, other probes with synchronized features could use the same logic. The logic is designed to discard events at the probe before they are processed or sent to the object server to reduce loading at the object server and the probe. The array timestamp lookup holds the event's Unix timestamp. For the example, the at identifier uses the nv underscore alarm underscore id which defines the event uniquely. When the event time token exists, then use the discard rules files code. Prevent non-compliant events from being processed and convert the event's time to a Unix time. Initialize the array counter and timestamp lookup if required. The array counter is used to limit memory usage. Clear the timestamp lookup after processing 100,000 unique events. If the event has already been processed, check to see if its time is greater than the stored event time and store the event time if it is. Initialize the Unix timestamp using the event's unique identifier. Otherwise, the current event was already processed and can be discarded. In this manner, the rules will only process events that are newer than the events stored in the timestamp lookup array. The timestamp lookup array is automatically limited using the array counter. Restarting the probe allows a full resynchronization. The rules file logic used in this example includes integer casting which allows mass functions to be used on the rules file tokens. Tokens are strings by default. Static variables used as a counter. Counters need to be initialized based on a null string and need to be cast as integers to add numbers to them. Text timestamps can be converted to Unix timestamps using the date to time function. Unix timestamps are useful when the value needs to be used in object server fields and for value comparisons. The date time function uses the ICU standard for date and time conversion. Arrays must be defined at the top of the main rules file. Their initial value is a null string and are referenced using a unique string. Note, arrays are unbound in size and so can use excessive memory if they are not limited. Restarting the probe's process resets arrays and static variables. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.